Hey guys, I recently had a bit of trouble installing a MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries Mech Pack 3.1 version of the game. Now, I did manage to find another version of the game, but I still had some difficulties to get it installed and I had to sort of do a lot of looking around to get it working. So hopefully this will help you and save you a lot of time. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get the same version that I'm using here. If you go to Google and you just type in MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries, one of the first ones you should get up is download MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries, Windows, My Abandonware. Now, obviously, anything you're getting off the internet, you do want to be careful, make sure there's no malware on there. I didn't get anything come up for malware from this download, but I don't know if it's going to change and don't know if you clicked on the same link, so just be careful. So once you go to the download, you're going to want the mech tech version. When you click on it, you should get this MechWarrior 4 mercenaries.zip. Inside that zip file, you should get two folders, one which is Mac OS X, and the other one is MechWarrior 4 mercenaries.org.2.51.03.01.0017. That is the folder you want, the MechWarrior 4 mercenaries one. And you just extract that to wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. I took it to the C drive. So now we're on the folder that I've extracted and you should have this base file, this DS store, uh, .ds store and up details. So I open up the base one. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna have to do before you do anything on this is you're gonna have to enable legacy components so you have the direct play because that's how this runs with direct play. So what you have to do is go to your Windows settings and you can either go to your start menu and choose this cog down here or you just type in settings down here so we just click on this there we go windows settings now just type in windows features and you should see turn windows features on or off go to that that'll bring up this screen and then what you want is these legacy components here and you just want to make sure that both legacy components and direct play are checked once you press OK and close this, it will set that up for you. And then that's that bit done. Once you've done a direct play, the next thing you're going to have to do is just take your MechWarrior Mac for Mercs, go to Send to Desktop, Create Shortcut. The reason you're going to do this is you're going to add some launch parameters in there. So if you now right click on this and do Properties, you want this target up here. As you can see here, I've actually got minus windowed typed in. So it's a space, then minus windowed. That ensures the game that is going to actually load up in a window and it's not going to try and go to full screen. That's the issue I've been having is trying to get it to actually load up. Once I did this, I had no problems. Now, uh, this does mean that the game, when you're playing it, is going to go into windowed mode, but you can actually just use Alt Enter to go into full screen mode but I'll talk about that in a minute so once you've got this window set up there uh, you don't actually have to have any compatibility I've got this set as run as administrator I don't think you need to have the compatibility because you've got the legacy components but if you do have any problems um, I've always found mine in XP service pack 2 or 3 works fine so I'm going to take off the compatibility mode keep it as run as administrator Go to my shortcut and just do this minus windowed in there. So it, at that point, you should be ready to go. Now, when you first start up the game, it'll ask you for access to networks. Now, I don't, I don't know if multiplayer is still a thing on this. doesn't really matter. Um, I said no to that just in case there is some sort of, you know, danger there, potentially. The next thing it's probably going to ask you to do is this auto config. Now, this will come up automatically for you uh, when you start up the game. But because I've done it once already, it's it's not doing it. Um, and it'll always start off with graphics, graphics low. Now, you can even just set it on ultra high. Um, what I do is I go in and select my graphics card and select my resolution. Now, as you can see, on this version, the options for the resolution are actually not very high at all. Um, I have tried changing the resolution manually and what I'm going to do now is just quickly show you where you can do that. If you go down here to your options here, this configuration setting, 
as you can see here you do have your screen width and screen height in there once again though that does seem to be locked in to one of two values um, you can either have this 1280 by 1024 or you can have it 1600 by 1200 I don't know if there's a fix for that somewhere uh, maybe there's a way to maybe swap things over with the mech pack that has the, the higher screen resolutions but to be honest it doesn't impact on the gameplay um, as long as you've got the settings up nice and high it's really not a problem now that doesn't seem to have actually has it set up my shadow mode to it looks like um yeah it looks like the ratings are high and if you do have problems and like that auto config isn't saving it i've had that before you can change things in here so once the auto config is done you should find that it loads up just fine so what i'm gonna do is just go double click on this now i do apologize the screen probably just went black there um for some reason open broadcast software doesn't like recording that bit right now you've got macquarie mercenaries going um first things first is if you do have problems with those videos at the start there is another start parameter and there's loads of start parameters you can put or launch parameters you can put in here as you see did this work properly i don't know what's going on there it's working fine um what you want to do is you just do forward slash g o s not g o d god <laughs> see get it see what i did there okay gos no video and just apply that and what you should find then is when you start up the game and get a black screen on obs it goes straight into the game without any of the video components in there but i i actually quite like the uh, videos in there it's nostalgia for me let's get close that apply done right okay that's now ready to go and now what i'll do is i'll show you what the screen will look like when you actually start it up so i'm going to go to campaign and i did just set up a silly little campaign name to do this go to orbit view the governor's intelligence assets have right ready to launch so i'm going to launch the game Okay, Spectre Lance, give an operational ready report. We're crossing the line of departure. Enemy contact is in. So, as you can see here, this is in a window, ye olde style aspect ratio. Um, and you can actually go into a full screen view just by pressing Alt Enter. Now, there is a problem. The, re the reason I wanted to talk about this other one is there is a problem when you come out of full screen mode. And that is that when you finish a mission, it will tell you, or you just come out of the actual game, as in the actual fighting part of the game, it will tell you that something is actually stopping it from going into full screen mode. Um, that can either be fixed by just at the very end, pressing escape like this, pressing alt and enter and coming back into this, or just let it happen if you don't mind the 30 seconds waiting. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press alt and enter and show you what it looks like. So here we go, alt, enter. And as you can see, it's it's looking perfectly fine. I'm, I think the, the volume might be quite loud, which is why I've paused it. So as you can see, this is actually working um, perfectly fine. Uh, let's just... Uh... Listen up, people. This is mostly a salvage run. Take out the armed vehicles, but leave the rest. The less we blow up, the more we take home. Copy? Roger. So there you go. That would be the game. And then all you have to do is... Uh, is like I said, just press Alt and Enter before the end of it. But I'm just going to show you what it looks like if you don't. So I'm in full screen mode at the moment. If I press Exit Mission. As you can see, we get this weirdness happening here. And you'll just have to wait about 30 seconds and it will tell you um, another application is preventing it from going full screen. There you go. Another application is preventing use of full screen mode. But it'll go back to it anyway. So it's not going to actually crash the game. Just a slight annoyance. And like I said, it can be circumvented just by pressing or enter before the end. Anyway, guys, I hope you found that useful. I hope you enjoyed the game. 
let me know uh, if you've got any problems with it. I'll try and help. I don't know if I can. I'm not exactly an expert at this. But anyway, I hope it helped. I hope you have fun.